Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. I hope you guys are liking this daily MCQ series. So in today's MCQ, again, we have the quiz on Selenium. So you just need to click on Selenium part number three. You can attempt other Selenium quizzes as well. I would advise you to pause the video, just attempt this particular quiz for the next 10 minutes and then write your score in the scorecard. Let's see who scores the maximum number of okay, points. So click on Selenium quiz number three and then let's click on continue and uh, you can start the quiz you will be getting 10 minutes but for the video i'm making it 15 minutes because i have to explain a couple of things here click on start the quiz and then you just read out a quick uh, instructions nothing much about it just click on start and the first question here that we have written which are the options it means we have to select the multiple options here used to run the chrome browser in headless mode so for headless mode, we know that fine that we can use the Chrome options class and then we can pass the argument headless over here. So that is one of the options. Second option that we can select that uh, Chrome option CEO dot set headless true also we can pass. So see this over here that uh, new Chrome options class that I have created the object that I have created. I'm using set headless true. So true that you have to pass and pass the same CEO over here. So it will launch google.com. It will get the title over here. So let's quickly run it and let's see run as a Java application and in that case you will see the browser will not be launched see there is no browser is getting launched everything is running in the headless mode it's printing the title and the URL of the page okay same thing you can do with the uh, CEO dot add arguments headless also you can pass it here okay with hyphen hyphen so click on save and next select methods which are used to create a new window tab and switch to it at the same time this is again a new feature got added in selenium 4 library so we have to switch to the new window and at the same time it should uh, it should switch the driver should switch to that particular window and the tab as well so that's where the read the question completely select method which are used to create a new window and the new tab at the same time and switch to it so we can use driver or switch to dot new window this new method got added in selenium 4 library and then you can pass what is the window type either it could be window or it could be a tab so first two options are the right one and then driver or switch to dot window it will just uh, switch to the specific window which is already opened same thing driver or switch to dot new window child window id no that's a wrong method uh, new window method is expect expecting one window type which is either a window or tab type so these are the first two options are the right one click on save and next what is the return type of driver dot get window handle not window handles so it will return a string you can check it over here let's see for example let's see if i'm writing simple quickly driver dot get window handle i'm talking about the first one it will return a simple string whatever the current window where exactly the driver is available it will give you the window handle or handle or id or window ID of that particular window so it will give you a string not the set of a string so click on save and next and then what will be the output of this program so okay this is chrome driver got launched I'm creating launching this particular URL and then immediately I'm quitting the browser and then I'm trying to fetch the title of the page so let's see what all three options are there four options it will print the page title on the console it will print null on the console it will print it will not print anything on the console or it will give you an exception that no such session exception and with the message that session id is null using web driver after calling quit so answer is a d over here if after calling quit you cannot use because the session id is over session id is null your session is over with the selenium server and then after that you cannot use a driver dot get title okay so that's why the answer is a d it will not give you any title it will not give you null pointer exception it will not give you the wrong title or null title nothing it will just give you no such session exception okay click on save and next what will be the size of the list from driver dot find elements we know that driver dot find elements method will return list of web element so it's saying what will the size of the list from driver dot find elements method if no element is found with the given locator so let's see this is a given locator and it's saying there is no button on the page or dom with class equal to sign up it means xpath is correct but it's not giving you there is no button available 
or there are no other buttons are available where class equal to sign up and still you are using driver dot find element so it will give you a list of web element but this list is what an empty list right so for example if you let's see you can check it over here i am saying this is my driver dot find elements method and uh, i am using by dot xpath and then you can use this xpath let's see for there is a button and i'm writing where at the rate class is equal to sign up so this will give you what this will give you a list of web element that list of web element that you can store inside the list of web element let's see list list and then do what then you try system dot okay let me just import that from the java.util and then you simply say list dot size so on google.com i don't have any button where class equal to sign up so in this case what exactly the output it will throw no such element exception it will return an empty list with zero size but no such element exception will be thrown it will return an empty list with zero size with no exception and uh, it will return at least one element in the list so let's see the answer will be it will return an empty list with zero size and with no exception it will return an empty list but no such element exception no it will always give you driver dot find elements will always give you the empty list without any exception but driver dot find element if the element is not available then in that case it will give you no such element exception but here we are using find elements and then you can just read out what exactly a list of all matching web elements or an empty list if nothing matches right so let's quickly run it and let's see it is giving you the list size zero or not so i'm running in the headless mode and then here you can see it's not giving you any kind of exception is giving you zero over here right so the answer is that it will return an empty list of size zero with no exception okay click on save and next what is the meaning of visibility of element as per visibility of element located so let's see this is the web driver wait that i have created and wait dot until expected condition dot visibility of element located by using the by locator so what is the meaning of visibility so according to selenium definition the visibility of doc, uh, visibility of element is the expectation for checking that element is present on the dom of the page and it's visible on the page also it's so it's not even available inside the page it's a uh, dom of the page it's available on the page as well and the visibility means the element is not only displayed but also has a height and the width that is greater than zero so answer is b and if you read the official documentation of selenium it's exactly written over here so i'll show you visibility of element is you can see this particular method see this it's saying an expectation see the read out this I have already copy pasted this particular uh, documentation. Read this particular documentation. It's actually officially written from Selenium. It's not only available inside the DOM of the page, but it's visible also. And what do you mean by visibility? Visibility means that element is not only displayed or the visible on the page, but it's having height and the width, which is greater than zero. That is a uh, definition of visibility according to Selenium. Okay, so the answer will be B in that case. So click on save and next. What is the difference between driver.get URL and driver.navigate.to URL? A lot of people, they have the wrong concepts about it. In fact, a lot of blogs also people, they have written the wrong information about it. In fact, both are same. Driver.get and navigate.to both are exactly synonyms to each other. You can see that both are synonyms and same. Everything is wrong concept that driver.navigate method will maintain the uh, history of the browser or something like this and then it will hold the driver until the page is fully loaded and all such things so other concepts are totally wrong get method will hold the driver until the page is uh, fully loaded navigate dot two method will not hold the particular driver no that's not true you can experiment it you can just try it by your own get method will not hold the driver no that's completely wrong with navigate dot two method you can simulate back and forward button of the browser in fact, with the get method also, you can use driver.navigate.back and forward. Still, you can maintain the history of the browser in case of driver.get method as well. So there is no difference between driver.navigate.2 and a driver.get method. Both are <coughs> exactly same. In fact, the driver.navigate.2 method is internally calling get method. 
you really want to see that you can check it over here a quick check that you can do that see i'm writing driver dot navigate and then i'm writing this is a two method and i'm passing any url for example http www dot let's see abc.com and then you go to the two method here and then two method is actually see this is actually coming from the uh, web driver navigation interface over here you can see this is the uh, navigation interface is written and this navigation interface to method is implemented let's see where exactly it is implemented so it is actually implemented inside the remote navigation class and uh, you can see this to method is actually internally calling a get method right so there is no difference both are exactly same if you read the documentation also and you just mouse over on the two and see the last line that uh, uh, you go to driver.get method and read the last line that synonym for driver.navigate.do method see the last line written over here i cannot zoom in but try to understand that this particular line okay so both are exactly same so don't get confused and don't get the wrong information about these two methods click on save and next how will you close this pop-up first of all this is not a javascript pop-up this is not coming uh, because of javascript pop-up or alert or prompt okay pop-up this is purely part of your uh, web page it's having its own html dom and uh, you just need to inspect the xpath or css or whatever the locator of this particular cross and then click on it you don't need to switch your driver from here to here as well because this is not a browser window also so here you don't need to write driver dot switch to dot window okay it's part of the same window only so this is a kind of pop-up but it's not a javascript pop-up or it's not a browser window pop-up separately right so let's see what are the options uh switch to dot alert no this is not the alert alert method we always use only for javascript pop-ups so this is the wrong answer this cannot be automated of course we can automate that driver dot switch to dot window no this will also not work why because this is a simple <coughs> a browser a basic pop-up where you just need to click on cross button fill the form and everything you don't need to switch it over here it's part of the same window so the answer will be the first one get the x path of x icon and then click on it save it next can we automate recapture using selenium no selenium does not provide any method uh, with respect to recapture or capture images so the answer is very simple no it cannot be automated save in next is selenium a test automation tool selenium <coughs> is not a testing tool guys selenium is just a library which will automate the browser which will automate the web application it has no assertions selenium does not have any assertion test ng j unit or maybe some other libraries that are having the assertion you can use the assertion from the test client not from the selenium selenium is not having any assertion library yes it can test and validate any application no selenium cannot test anything selenium will tell you it will perform some user actions it will try to simulate the user actions on the browser like click dot send key so it will tell you that okay element is there or not in the form of some boolean but selenium cannot validate you have to validate with the help of some test ng or j unit that whatever we are getting like let's see after login are we able to uh, successfully logged in or not selenium cannot determine selenium cannot identify that you have successfully logged in or not so it's your test line responsibility to validate that expected versus actual result is happening or not but selenium is just to automate the browser that's it okay but yes we are using selenium for to implement our test framework and everything but with the help of test ng j unit or some other third party test clients that we use that so the answer is no it's just a library which will automate the browser that's it it's not a testing automation tool or test automation tool okay so this is the last question and then after that you simply click on sub click on submit click on submit <coughs> and the scorecard is 10 out of 10 nice you can ignore the percentile part 10 out of 10 okay obviously i'll be getting 10 out of 10 because it's my quiz so you guys also try and then let's see who scores the best one and feel free to write in the comment section what is your score you can share with others also you will be getting the print pdf you can just simply click on print and then you can uh, see this go to more settings and then you can just simply open in the pdf preview and then you can just open in the pdf preview like this you can save it for the future and then all the questions with the correct answer you will be getting it and for the explanation you can just refer the video 
and it will help you a lot for the interview preparation and everything that's all guys that's all for this particular video i hope you guys are uh, uh, liking this particular series if you're liking it please subscribe to the channel share with others and uh, if you have any other question set for any kind of tool let's see api cypress web driver io selenium rest assured or jmeter or whatever feel free to share with me you i'll share my email id with you guys you can just mail me set of questions and then i'll try to prepare a quiz for that thank you so much guys that's all for this particular video i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all